A function is shown f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Show the x-intercepts and maximum or minimum value of the function. We're going to start with the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. And where a graph crosses the x-axis, the value of y is 0. So to find the x-intercepts, we're going to go back to this function and replace the y value, the f of x, with 0. So we're taking out that f of x and replacing it with 0. You have x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now we're going to solve that for x by factoring. We're going to factor that left side into two binomials. The first terms of those two binomials multiply to make x squared, so it's going to be x and x. The second terms of those two binomials multiply to make this last term. They multiply to make negative 3, and they add to make this middle coefficient of 2. So two numbers that multiply to make negative 3 and add to make 2 would be 3 and negative 1. So the two binomials that that factors into are x plus 3 times x minus 1. Now those two multiply together to equal 0, so that means either one of those could be equal to 0. x plus 3 could be equal to 0, or x minus 1 could be equal to 0. Solve each one of those for x, and that first one subtract 3 from each side, get x equals negative 3. And the second one add 1 to both sides, get x equals 1. So x equals negative 3, or x equals 1, when y is equal to 0. That means those are the x-intercepts. x-intercepts are negative 3 and 1. Now to find the maximum or minimum value. Well, you have to know which way this parabola opens, whether it opens up or down. This is a parabola is a U-shaped graph, either opening upwards or downwards. So to tell how it opens, whether it opens up or down, look at the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is positive. That means the parabola opens upward. If the coefficient of x squared was negative, the parabola would open down. So with knowing that that parabola opens upward, that means there will be a minimum y value. Whenever you're talking about the value of a function, you're talking about the y value at any particular point. So if it opened downward, there will be a maximum value, a maximum y value that it reaches. If it opens upward, like this one does, that means there will be a minimum y value that this reaches. The maximum or the minimum value of the function is the y coordinate of the vertex. So that's really what we need to find. We need to find the y coordinate of the vertex. And to do that, you have to get the x-coordinate of the vertex first. The x-coordinate of the vertex is found by taking negative b over 2a. In f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, a is the coefficient of x squared. In this case, that's 1. b is the coefficient of x. Here, that's 2. And c is the constant term, the number without a variable. That's negative 3. So to get the x-coordinate of the vertex by taking negative b over 2a, you'd be taking the negative of 2 over 2 times 1. And just simplify that, the negative of 2 over 2, and that is negative 1. So that is the x-coordinate of the vertex. We need to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. So we need to find out what y is when x is negative 1. So to do that, go back to your function, f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. If you want to find the value of y when x is negative 1, just put negative 1 in for x and see what y is. So substitute negative 1 in for x. It's going to be negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Just work through that. Square that negative 1, that is 1. Take 2 times negative 1, that is going to be negative 2. And then you still have negative 3. 1 minus 2 minus 3, that would be negative 4. That is the y-coordinate of the vertex, or the y-coordinate of the turning point on this parabola. And that's the lowest y-value this parabola reaches because that parabola opens upward. As you see on the graph, the parabola does open upward. That is the graph of that equation. The y-coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. So that, that vertex has coordinates of negative 1, negative 4, as you see. And remember back here, we found the x-intercepts. We found the x-intercepts to be negative 3 and 1. That's where that parabola hits the x-axis. So all those things we talked about, the parabola opens upward because the coefficient of x squared is positive. The y-coordinate of the vertex that is the minimum value. That's the lowest y value this reaches. It's negative 4. The x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 1. And once again, the x-intercepts where the parabola hits the x-axis, it's negative 3 and 1.